country. Thank you, sir. For Thank you. Honourable Member Sri N K Premajendra. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, sir, for affording me this opportunity to have my maiden speech in the new Parliament House. <laughs> sir, since it is a maiden speech, sufficient time may be granted. That is my no. first speech. No. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, no. Within the time, you have to. Yes. Yeah. Sir. Three minutes. Sir, sir please. Sir, sir, first, I would like to support the bill, subject to certain reservations and subject to certain amendments which I would like to move. Sir, first of all, I would like to seek the clarification from the cabinet colleagues. Even the Prime Minister yesterday, at the time of introduction of the bill, was eliciting that this bill is a Nari Shakti Vidhek or Nari Shakti, sorry, Nari Shakti Vandan bill. And today the cabinet, cabinet colleagues, Smriti Iranji, Iraniji has uh, said that this is a Nari Shakti Adhinem. So this is a constitutional amendment bill. That bill has to come separately before the parliament so as to seek the, so, so as to explain the details of the how this reservation, all these things have to come further. But I can't understand a constitutional amendment bill already being named in another name, that too in Hindi. And even the constitution and the rules of practice is very specific that the name, the nomenclature of the bill has to be in English. But it is quite unfortunate, almost all the legislations. Hundred and twenty-eight constitutional amendment bill. Now how we refer it? Definitely there are different names for a bill. It has been in the past also. This is not the first time. But when it is printed in the list of business and clearly mentioned 128 constitutional amendment bill. There should be no confusion in the minds of Honorable MP. Okay. Prime Minister, please. Nari Shakti Vidwek means Women's Empowerment Bill. This is a, that, I, let me, let me. This is a constitutional amendment bill providing reservation to the women. So you can name it anyway, you can describe it anyway. But the nomenclature of the bill is, is a constitutional amendment bill, no doubt about it. Yes. And regarding the nomenclature also, now it is, it is, sir. I am not going to the details Please, because I know. Time Sir, I fully support the bill. Once again, I would like to say I fully support the bill. It is constitutionally, it is okay. By, but at the same time, I would like to say that, see, the half, more than half of the population in the country is, you, you all know that it is women. And definitely, women is playing an important role in the nation building process. So the participation of women, Sir, the participation, I think that it is mistakenly done. So the participation of women in the policy making process, that should be, that should be adhered to because it is the need of the hour. So the idea of boosting women's empowerment is from 1957 onwards. The Belrai Mehta Committee in 1957, sir, the Ashok Mehta Committee in the year 1978, and the National Perspective Plan for Women in the year 1988. All these reports are stressing the need for women's participation in the legislative bodies. So it is back from 1957 onwards, it is there. So the first in the legislative history of India, the first time a women's reservation is being incorporated or bill is being brought in the parliament is none other than late Sri Rajiv Gandhi in the year 1989. Sir, 33% of women reservation has been provided in the 1989 bill in the constitutional amendment, it was passed in the Lok Sabha, but unfortunately it is, it is defeated in the Rajya Sabha. In defeating that bill, BJP was also a party in defeating the bill. So, 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 sir, so, sir, let me, let me. So, sir, first time in the parliamentary history, in the legislative history of India, Rajiv, Rajiv Gandhi's name has to be remembered. It used to be memorized because he is the person introduced a bill by with 33 percent of women reservation there in the parliament as well as in the state legislative assemblies. Yes, absolutely correct. Subsequent to it, in the year 1993, when P. V. Narasimha Rao was the prime minister of the country, 70th and 74th amendment has come into place. There also 33 percent of reservation has already been given. So also I would like to state in my Kerala state legislative assembly. 
assemblies are you may see in the year 1990 the district council act in which also 30 percent reservation has been provided in the state of kerala now it is in the jilla panchayat and the three tier panchayat and the nagarbalika institutions now it is more than 50 percent now as per the statistics of kerala state lsgs we are having 57.5 percent reservation already not reservation participation of women in the local self governments in the, in the state of kerala so sir the, 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 I, I, I would support Supriya Suleji's today's speech. Two points have already been sought, questions have already been sought. Why this special session for enacting such a law? Because this law would be applicable only after the census and only after the delimitation process. That means we are getting a lot of time. Then what is the need of having a special session so as to pass this legislation number one? And also 9.5 years have already elapsed. Yesterday the Honorable Prime Minister is making a speech in the parliament saying that it is the, it is a wish of the God that thereby the mothers and oh. sisters of this country, the opportunity or that fortune has been given to me so as to have a legislation for having participation of women in the legislative bodies. If that be the case, 9.5 years that one decade has passed, what prevented the government from making a legislation in the first NDA government led by Sri Narendra Modi ji? Sir, 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 the delay has to be explained. And also, sir, and also, my, I, I, I would like to seek the specific assurance from the honorable government when the government is intending to implement the bill, kindly have an assurance okay. in the bill so that we can support the bill with these words. I conclude. Thank you very much, sir, for providing this. Thank support. you. Honorable Member Srimadi Sandhya Roy. Honorable Member. Honorable Member Srimadi Sandhya Roy. Dan, Danewa, Danewa, sir, yes. yes. Honorable Member Honorable Member Srimadi Sandhya Roy already started. No point of order, please. No, no point of order. Sandhya Roy. Sandhya Roy, please. 